Hey! I yeah. am Jammer. Oh, yes. And I am the Shaggy Dog and Only. Yes, it is, people. It's all there with you. We're doing a Mena, Bria. Mena Bria Ambrada, which is Amber. You're looking at me. You're the tag in here. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a Vienna Lager. It's an Italian beer from uh, Bira Menabria Spa, which is in. Uh, what city is that in? Oh, that is in. Oh, pardon me, folks. Via Ramala, Germani, Biella, Italy, whatever all that means. And then it's a 75 on Beer Advocate, 5% ABV. It's a rotating seasonal beer. Awesome. So hopefully we don't have it off season. It's not spoiled. Uh, but it's Vienna Lager, so it's a good follow-up to our last one, which also is a Vienna Lager from Vienna. Mm-hmm. And it says right here, Shag Dog, that... Uh, it's all Italian. Is it Italian? <laughs> I was going to read it, but it's well, all Italian. Read it. Maybe the Italians will understand it. Prodotta Combinado Sapientemente... Materia Prima della Celalanzia. Uh, e la Shando Maturare per 30 GR G, Gio Arni al Fene di Danara. Quella complessita di Aromi. Unici e distinctive. Ah, distinctive. Mm -hmm. I heard finale, I think final or something. Right. Yeah. Uh, let's see if it says in English on beer. Okay. <laughs> nope, nothing. Uh, also known as Men Menabria 150 degree anniversary anniversary amber. Now, this looks like more of a uh, Vienna lager. It's darker. Yeah, a little bit more of the amber, uh, dark yeah. amber color. Yeah. Yeah. And that's probably why they call it the Embrata, right? Yeah, I think so. Embrata, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's darker. That's had a uh, white head, a little bit of tannish in it, I guess. Yeah, that's more of like an egg white head, too. It's not as frothy and creamy looking as that uh, right. other one. I'm not really getting any distinctive smell off it. A little it. bit of a toasty, maybe. Maybe, yeah. A little bit of toasty, biscuity, I don't know. Maybe toasty. You keep saying toasty. Toasty. Yeah. Toasty. toasty. Uh, Was that on a Mortal Kombat? Yeah. Snowman. Drink up, my friends. Drink up. Why not? We'll make them an offer you can't refuse. Drink it. You bastard. Could have been a contender. Yo. Now, what's your favorite? Adrian. I love having Diddy on when it comes to mafia shit because he so, knows so much about mafia. Actual real stories and Costa movies. Nostra. Yeah, real stories and the movies. He used to about, read the books, you know, about fucking Hitman and Mafia. Time life books on the mafia, right? Probably stuff like that. When I came up, when I, came I remember up, back when I was a kid, they were selling time life yeah. books on the mafia. You probably had that. You watched the TV shows. His biggest thing when I got out of the army, I came home as mafia and UFOs. <laughs> what, a, what a weird combination! I know, and he had, he had talked about UFOs so much, and I, I, bet, I forget what the hell the name of the show was on back then in the nineties. But we're out in the porch drinking oh. beer one night, and he's like, "Look at that! That's a UFO!" It's nighttime. And there was that this, was the X Files. No, no, there was another uh, documentary about. Uh, I forget what it was called. The, I think William Riker was on it, hosted it. William Shatner. No, no, Riker, number one. Number one, make it so. Yeah, he had a show. Engage. I forget what the hell. It had UFOs. I think it might have had other shit too. But, but he's like, look, that's a UFO. And I'm like, holy fuck, I'm believing. I'm like, you've been talking about UFOs. So I'm like, holy shit, it's coming straight towards us, and the lights get brighter and brighter. It was an actual plane. But the angle is going, you know, the front light is, I guess, it's coming downhill. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you should have guessed it was a plane, being that you were parked at the end of the runway. No, we were at the, <laughs> we were at the runway. Drinking yeah. beer. 
That would be a good scene in the movie. Holy shit, look at her. Yeah, it's a UFO. It's a fucking UFO. We had to end of a runaway. Mm. And what would be funnier is, is that, that you know where, where we could just hang out and drink? Yeah. Somewhere where we could just hang out and drink underneath the stars and everything. And someone tells you, yeah, there's this place. You go off this road. It's like right there. You got a good view of the sky and everything. And then you park there. And, you, know. <laughs> you see this fucking light coming towards you. You're like, it's a fucking airport. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good for Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> that would have been so <laughs> Now, we did see one other weird thing out there besides that. It wasn't an airplane, though. It was lightning. A storm. You could hear a storm coming. It was like a little bit of rumbling in the air. And a lightning bolt went down the fucking street sideways. Mm -hmm. We saw a fucking lightning bolt go right down the street. Mm -hmm. And we're like, what the? F we're like, holy shit. Now, I'm going to ask, were there recreational drugs No, it was involved? just beer. Miller Red Label. Mm -hmm. That's why it's off the market now. <laughs> <laughs> We've had reports that our, our, our customers are seeing lightning, lightning bolts. Going parallel sideways. Down, down the street, yeah. Uh, this beer... It's very light in flavor. It's got a flavor, but it's very light. Yeah. It's got a toastiness, like Shag Dog was saying, that it smelled like. It does have that. It's very watery. Got it like a caramel. I don't think that it's got that banana flair. No, it does, but it's very... Faint. Like faint and water, a little bit watered down. Not really water, watered down, but mm -hmm. it's just mellow, very mellow. Uh, with a Vienna lager, you probably want a little bit of that toasty breadiness, mm -hmm. a little bit more caramel taste to mm -hmm. it, I guess, you know. I, which I don't like when they do it overwhelmed because I've had yeah. some Vienna lagers that are too overwhelming. Yeah, it's caramel sweet. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. So Vienna lagers, they're kind of far and few between where I find a good one, you know. This is not bad. I, I I do like it. It's easy to drink, smooth. But I don't think it's anything spectacular. Mm. You know. No, I, I would say more like in the C plus range. Yeah, I'd probably go C C. It's it's a swallow. I mm. I give it an, actually. A, I give it a C plus because it's not offensive. I guess I yeah. could say. Yeah. Very easy to drink. Easy to drink. Not I would, offensive. I would go as far as to give it a swarter on that. Yeah. Uh, I'll just give it a swallow because I expected more from Italy, although maybe I shouldn't have because it's a beer and not a wine. Yeah. So. That's true. Good point there, Shag. Yeah. Because most of the beers from Italy, they, some of them are okay, but nothing has been spectacular. No. No spectacular beer. They make a big deal about Peroni. Peroni. What's the other one that has like an amber lager? I forget the name of that one. Anyhow, we did that is one that back. The, is that the one that comes with the glass? Uh, no, it's like a red they label. Almost wipe looks the Almost looked like, like no no that's still Artois. Yeah, still Artois. It's Belgium. Uh, mm -hmm. It was like a red label. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't that great either. Yeah. <laughs> but this one's making me burp a lot. A beer Moretti. Oh yeah. Rosa. Yeah. Not too bad, but wasn't that great either. Hey, hey! You didn't toss it. No. Oh. Hey. Sitting back. Oh, Ooh, I'm impressed. Right on the top. Hey, it's a P90X. It's working out for me, I think. Of course, I didn't do the P90. Was I doing that? I think I was on my first week last time I came here, right? Well, I don't know. Yeah, because I'm, I'm on six, six week now. Yeah. I was already doing it. Yeah, so it has to be the P90X. That's why I'm doing better. <laughs> okay. I just got a lot of steadiness. I'm like in the zone. Could be the fact that you haven't had sex and all that pent up, what you call it, is I've, making I've had, you I've more talented. Hand, I've had hand sex, maybe that's it, but having more of that. Actually, I well, yeah, that probably would actually, because I'm you're, not, you're I'm used not even to doing tossing that. it. I'm not even doing that as much as I used to. I wish I could do that. I just don't have the time or the, I'm tired when I go to bed. You know, you know. You, here's the bad thing about going without yeah. for a long period of time. Right. They say two of two things can happen. You get to the point where you really don't care about sex at all anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. You become more of a, you know, uh, yeah. uh, it's just too much work. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and I don't even, uh, like, I just 
the thought, I could just bring it up. Like, yeah, get up, dude. get up. Yeah. Now I can't even do that. I mean, like, That's TMI. You know, but I had the willpower just to get it up whenever I want. No. Not to get it down, but to get it up. Well, to get it down is a different story. That sometimes took oh, God. some coaxing. Yeah. Talk, think about something else. Yeah, yeah. Coaxing. <laughs> Slapping around a little right. bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, now get down, right. damn it. <laughs> Thinking about my mother or something. <laughs> oh, God, you pervert. That usually helps. <laughs> you freak. No, <laughs> I'm not thinking about that, but thinking about my mother helps the excitement go down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shag dog. Oh, you tell me you did it. <laughs> Yeah, ma, I did. <laughs> Again. We still, I, still, I still talk to her about that. That's funny. That was one of the best mother moments of my life, I think. You she should know. ask her what she actually thought at that, that moment. She thought I committed a mortal sin by having sex with a priest's sister. I think that's what she thought. It would have been more of a mortal sin if you had sex with the priest. Right. And more on his half. Yeah. Because he knew better. <laughs> He's on the cloth, yeah. <laughs> and the priest's sister, why would you think she know any better? Yeah, she's, she's, she's not, just a priest's sister. Yeah, yeah. yeah my brother, but, he's weird. I, I, he I wants my, to be celibate and not mom, have any women whatsoever in his life. I think my mom was probably <laughs> deep, deep down thinking. She, I think she, I thinks, think she was thinking embarrassment for her. Right. Going the whole, to her church. Know, something finds out, oh, her, her son had sex with father of so and so's sister. Mm. If that if the word got out, how's the word gonna go? She ain't gonna tell anybody. I will bite. I have loose lips sometimes. You go around the whole church and yeah, I had sex with the priest uh, yeah. sister. She was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> but I guess I wasn't as good as she thought it was gonna be too, because she never called me back. <laughs> Either that or she decided to find God. <laughs> you drove her to religion. <laughs> I was because that was the second time we went out. And that night, I was like, oh, fuck, the PlayStation 2 was out. And I wanted to go get one. Mm -hmm. So she picked me up to go out. I said, I got to get the PlayStation. So we went to Walmart first. I got to bought a PlayStation 2. That's how long ago it was. And then. Then we went out, and then we went back to her place and, and did, did it. the deed. Yeah, did the deed. And then I woke up in the morning, she gave me a ride home. And, but she has a lame lay. I don't like lame lay. It's just lay there. Yeah, that's my... I, I mean, not that I'm huge or anything. Yeah. So it was all missionary. It was, I think it was all missionary, yeah. Did I get her doggy? That okay. sounds more like a priest sister. Yeah, I might have got her doggy a little bit, but she didn't want to do. After a little while, she's like, "Oh, I don't like like that. Yeah, that type of shit." Don't you hate that? I, I must have a weird angle because I get a lot of girls when I'm doing doggy, they say it hurts. Maybe I'm just huge, Good. or I have a weird. But I don't have that much of a bend. You know, some people have bends, bents, either up, down, or sideways. I don't have much of a curve on my ass. Pretty much straightforward, mm. all twelve inches. And a half. <laughs> All right. I'm glad I'll have 12. God, I'm going to get the whole thing in. Especially well, you know, you know, you, you think, okay, it would be great to have a 15 inch dick. You know, it would be really wonderful. I don't know if that'd be wonderful. Well, that's what you think. And, you know, that'd be really maybe, good. Maybe for money purposes. Uh, but in purpose. reality, when it comes to pleasure, yeah. I mean, a woman cannot get it all down her throat. Right. So she's only going to get a little portion of it. Might it might be a small, small, smaller than the Jewish population percentage that can take it. Now, yeah. Now, the thing about that is, okay, so she can only get a little bit. So basically, she's going to do what every woman normally does, which is avoid deep-throating it. Right. And just taking care of the head. Taking care of the head and doing this. Yeah. Or she'll be doing this. I will that doesn't look good on camera. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, or that. Yeah, it's 15. Yeah. yeah. So, so technically, there would be a legitimate reason for a woman to do that. Right. And then she's going to lick the sides and, you know, and stuff yeah, like that. up the side. And uh, as far as actual intercourse goes, 
you're only going to get a portion of it in. Probably not even a quarter. A a 15 inches, a quarter would be, well, 12 would be, a quarter would be three inches, right? And so you would have to really start half. stretching the woman out. To be you able might to, get half in. Uh, yeah, you, and you're going to have to really be stretching her out after a while, yeah. which in some ways she will stretch a little bit and get accustomed to your size. All right. But I don't think it's ever going to be the full amount. So you're going to be able to jam it all the way up. Yeah. There. So you're not going to actually get that feeling of slapping up against yeah. the... So thank God I'm only six and a half. Huh? But I mean, seriously. Well, they say the average man, a rec, a rec size is five inches. So I'm, I'm bigger than the average. Well, there you go. Right, it's a good thing to look at. Right? Now, if, you, if you're if you six inches, around the six inch mark, uh, that's great. You're bigger than the average. But if you get with a girl who's been with somebody who's eight, nine, ten, twelve inches... Yeah. 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 She, she's, I mean, a lot of them say, oh, no, size don't matter. But it does. Once they've had some big ones, mm -hmm. it matters. Yeah, because uh, that'd that's, be... That's when you have to go buy the Moby M50 from the sex shop and help you out a little bit. Uh, hey, baby, how's that feeling? That's all right. It's pretty good. Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to squeal like a pig. Yeah. I got one for the back end too. <laughs> I know you had it up there in the back, that big Geiger would be for. Oh my god, I've gone too far. Yes, yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <And I> was, <laughs> uh, that's a good beer, not too bad. Yeah. Uh, on to the next one. What do you think, All man? right. Thanks for watching. Shag Dog Jamber, the greatest spirit swallow beer review. It's our uh, drinking. For dead heroes, heroes, special extravaganza. Yeah, thank a veteran, thank a thank a hero of your choosing. Yeah, it doesn't have to be military. Yeah, it doesn't have to be any. Anyway. It could be your dad, your mother, your sister, your brother, your uncle, yeah, your grandparents. Even, I mean, just a hero. Uh, or it could be a friend Uncle, or Uncle Freddie who uh, gave you the Heimlich maneuver. Yeah, choke. You're choking on a chicken yeah. bone and help cough it up. Just think a hero and think, you know, take the moment. Drink a beer with a friend or a family member that you you care for and I really appreciate that moment. Yeah. And even the ones that are gone, like your old, your, your parents or grandparents, old great uncles, grand, great grandparents, whatever. Just think about the... the the, the great times and, and, and wonderful the, moments and the, that you shared. You no, know, and the thing, or even if you didn't even know them, the the uh, sacrifices they made for not just for you, probably because they didn't even give a fuck about you, but for their children, which are your cousins, and you know, but he was your great uncle. Well, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but you know, just take the moment to really appreciate those around you and in your yeah. life. Now, one of my great uncles, my brother is getting to know well. While I was in the army, my uncle Harold, he was my grandfather's youngest brother. My grandfather died when my mother was two. Uncle Harold, you know, when I, I, I met him like two times, I think, two or three times as a kid. Not much memory. Last you know, one I had was senior in high school. We went back up to New York, stopped by his house. And he had a good, strong Italian accent, too. And he's like, hey, you want some cookies? Come on, take some cookies. He was forcing us to eat Christmas cookies, me and Pat, uh, did he? I don't want a cookie. No, I'll take some. Oh, okay. You know, I got scared. I'm, okay, I'll take a cookie. You know, so he made you an offer you couldn't, couldn't refuse. refuse. Yeah. But then uh, that's the last time I saw him. Then Pat, Diddy, and Spank went up there. You know, they would just go up there to, when they went up to New York to visit my grandmother. They would go see him, and he'd tell them stories about our grandfather. Oh, and this one time when he got came back from the war, we got all drunk and we had to, uh, you know. Carry yeah, carry him home, you know, or fights he got in, whatever, you know, a whole bunch of stories. Mm -hmm. I missed out on all that because I was in the fucking army, right? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I didn't get to hear any stories. Later on, there was a family reunion, so I went to that. He was there, but I didn't really talk to him that much. They were busy playing cars, all the old people, you know. So it was just me and my brothers, our one cousin, Tony, and... That was about it. I wasn't doing nothing. I got, I, mean, I got some Milwaukee's best beer. I gave some to my step grandfather, who was Sicilian, but he knew my. I don't think he knew my grandfather, but he got with my grandmother three years after my grandfather died. So he was friends with that side of the family. 
I did, hell yeah. That was it. Then he died a couple years later. Never got to hear any stories. Okay, wake up. Huh. Man, it just kept going on and on. Yeah. But the best part of my whole thing, because I always... Where were you going with that? I don't know. But anyhow... You blather skite. I know, blather skite. But the best part of the whole thing is I grew up thinking, being told, you look like your father, you look like your father, you look like your father. Sean always looked like our grandfather on my mother's side. The Italian side. Are you so, blather skiting? Again? So one time, my step when my stepfather passed away, I went to his funeral. I don't know if the lady was talking about my step grandfather or my real grandfather because she was old. She came up to me and I guess she knew I was my grandmother's grandson. She goes, "You have your grandfather's nose," and tapped me on the nose. And, you know, Sean sat right next to me. And I'm like, "Yeah, that's Italian. That's a fucking Italian nose, brother." <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm blather skating. You're blather skating. All right, we will see you on the next one after I blather skated. Thanks for watching. We should make up a website called that. Blatherskite.com. Oh, what we should do is make another YouTube channel. Blather skating with Shag Dog and Jammer. I have to figure out how to spell it. No, it's not really. No. B L A T H E R S K I T E. This whole time about my whole uncle and all that, I could put that on the blather and. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Blather Skype. Blather Skype channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep it the same channel. It's called Blather Skype. The video, yeah. <laughs> All Volume right. one. Volume one. <laughs> All right. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Hopefully, we Take got care. 40 more years to go to do this. That would be great. That would put us at 90 doing mm -hmm. movies. Imagine that. Hey, and 90 year olds out there doing movies? No. We'd be uh, definitely a unique. Who do you think is the oldest person out there doing beer reviews on YouTube? I like to know. I know a couple were old and they're dead now. Uh, Maybe what? Uh, what's the name? Craig? Whatever that guy's name is. He might be the oldest. Huh? I don't know. We got. We got to find out who's the oldest beer reviewer. Let us know. I have no clue. On YouTube. Well, let's go see what's in the fridge. Yeah, that's Greg, right? Is it Craig? Or Look Greg? there. We got that's that. Greg, isn't it? Greg, the Greg, bigger guy. Greg, Greg, Greg. Well, it's just yeah. He might he might be up there. The one guy that died, he was probably up there. Well, Look there. We got beer in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. He reminded me of Mister uh, uh, Rogers. Oh yeah, like a Southern Mister Rogers. Welcome to Mister Rogers. Well. Yeah, we got beer in the neighborhood. Now, was Miss Rogers <laughs> Southern? We, or? we got I beer. Guess I heard a little bit. We got beer in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> beer in the neighborhood. Yeah. Won't you drink mine? I can see him saying that. Won't he, you drink he my should beer? Really, he should really do that, too. He, he'd be really good. <laughs> Won't you drink mine? Come in and take it, put on a sweater and get a bottle opener. Yeah. Go to the fridge. Take his <laughs> shoes off with some slippery on. <laughs> Popping the cat, pouring the beer. What we got here? <laughs> Look at there. We got an amber. Some puppets pop up over here. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Craig. <laughs> what are you drinking? Are you drinking again? <laughs> you better put that beer down. <laughs> uh, <it'd be> <laughs> and, we're, we're, and then the trolley train comes in. Right, carries that'd be good. He, he tells tells that puppet to get on that train and get the hell out of here because I'm drinking. <laughs> See, we're making other people's beer reviews possibly better if they listen. Took our advice. Okay? Take our creative criticism. Yeah. <laughs> we should shit do that. I mean, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we should. We're good. Uh, you could be Mr. Shag Dog. Yeah, but who's Mr. Shag Dog? And I could turn around and have little puppets, and I'll be the puppeteer. Yeah, you can just do voices. Hey, hey Mr. Shag Dog! It'll be the sock puppet number one. Put number one on it. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> or righty, lefty. <laughs> R sock, left sock. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Well, we'll see you on the next one. We might do the other Italian one that these guys make, the other beer they make, maybe. Yep. And we'll see you on the next one. I am Shag Dog. That's I'm Mr. Jammer. Rogers Jammer. We'll see you. Thanks see for ya. watching. Comment and subscribe, like, and keep in the bell. Share it. Yes.